and welcome to this 20 minute morning yoga practice just to give your whole body a gorgeous start to your day. Welcome to your mat, take a moment just to sit yourself down, get yourself nice and comfortable, any props you would like. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale them back and down. Now you might be feeling stiff this morning, that's absolutely fine. Just take your time with these, okay? So nice, deep, full inhales, the shoulders roll up and then exhale, let them soften and down. Let's do three more. You can think about your shoulders a bit. Like they're moving like a clock face, so you're moving from 12 to 3 to 6 to 9 to 1. And just pay attention to where you feel <laughs> those tightness coming in. Let's do one more, an extra bonus one. Lovely stuff. Now let's take an inhale, swoop the arms up, bring the hands together. As we exhale, we're going to take the right hand across to the left knee, inhale the arm up, exhale over. And because this is a video, I'm probably doing the opposite to you. Apologies about that. So feel free to mirror me if you would rather. <laughs> Inhale up, exhale over, and I'll try and remember to mirror from now on. Great. One more breath here. Inhale, sweep that arm up, exhale, opposite arm comes down. Nice big breath in to reach up, exhale. We're coming over in the direction of the opposite knee. Nice big inhale, lengthen up through the spine, exhale, soften the shoulders, soften over a little bit more, one more breath here, and inhale, sweep the arm back up, let's interlace those fingers, turn the palms to face the ceiling, look up as we exhale, cactus arms, slowly drawing the arms down, and we're going to bring the hands to rest on the thighs, palms face up, thumb and forefinger to touch, close your eyes, soften your gaze. Hmm. Take a moment here just to settle into your breath this morning. Nice deep inhale, long, slow exhale. Scan your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Just notice if there's any areas where you're holding any unnecessary tension. So maybe. Release the jaw a little bit, maybe the lips part, that's fine. Maybe give the shoulders a little shake just to release the tension there. Take those full deep inhales, really expanding the belly and the chest and the ribs, allowing them to soften and release any tension as you exhale. Let's take three more breaths here. Lovely stuff. Let's let one ear roll towards one shoulder, then let the chin roll around towards the chest, opposite ear rolls towards opposite shoulders. So just taking a few juicy rolls through your neck. If you know you like to bring your neck all the way back as well, please do. Just do what feels good for you this morning. Always in our yoga practice, we're listening to our own bodies and celebrating where we get into these yoga poses, how they work for us to make us feel better on every level. Let's bring the head back up to centre, gently open the eyes, lovely stuff. We're going to inhale, bring the palms together, reach the hands up. We're going to open the arms out nice and wide. We're going to exhale, nice big open mouth, exhale up to the sky. Inhaling up. One more. This time as the fingertips come down, let's bring those fingertips nice and firmly down onto the earth. Press down, lift up, draw your belly button towards your spine here. And release, lovely stuff. Let's take the feet out in front of us. We're gonna bring the right ankle, just above the right ankle, just above the right knee. Figure four pose, or eye of the needle pose, this is sometimes called. Um, we're just going to flex the toes on this foot. We don't want to feel any pain in this knee, but we're looking to get a nice stretch 
down the back of the right leg. Now you might find it nice here just to gently rock as well from side to side. See how that feels for you this morning. Use the hands just to keep yourself nice and upright so we're not collapsing or rounding through the spine. Lovely stuff. Now we're going to extend this left leg away, flexing the toes. Place the right foot down to the outside of the left leg. I'm going to take an open twist. So we're going to bring right arm in front of right leg, lightly press the two together, take that left hand back, a little bit of drama if you like that. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, exhale, belly button draws towards the spine to twist. Come back to those lovely deep inhales and exhales. Really lift and engage your pelvic floor muscles as you twist and draw your low abdominal muscles towards your spine, so your belly button towards your spine. And then gently release, uncross the legs. This time left foot flexes, just above the left ankle comes just above the right knee, so it's flesh on flesh. Flex through the toes, check in with that knee and hopefully feel a nice sensation down the back of the left leg. I'm a little bit tighter on this side, so it's, whew, it's juicy this morning. Getting up nice and tall as we inhale and exhale. And again, if you want to, just gently rocking from side to side. Lovely stuff. We're going to extend that right foot away this time. Place the left foot flat on the floor. Open twist, so keeping the belly nice and open. Inhale, sweep that right arm back. If you want a bit of drama, left arm comes to the inside. You can come here as well if you would like. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, turn into twist. Lovely stuff from here. We're going to release the knees back down onto the mat. We're going to bring the right foot forward. We're going to take an inhale, sweep the arms up. As we exhale, we're going to bring the arm to cactus, which is like this. So we're going to inhale, sweep up. As we exhale, we lower, soften forward into the hips and bring the arms to cactus. Then inhale, press back up. 
Exhale, lower. Now, if you find this uncomfortable on your knees, you can always tuck the back toe under and do this one standing. Or you can come and do a variation of this seated. Or you can just keep the knees still. Woo! She says. Let's take three more. Nice firm press into that front foot as you come back up. One more. Lovely stuff. Bring the hands down to the inside of the foot. Bring that leg round. Just take that leg up behind you. So you're now in a little box position, but with the right leg raised. And we're going to circle that. So we're going to draw the knee towards the front of the mat and then out and round. So you can tell from my voice where I find <laughs> the point of work on this arm. <laughs> Try and keep the hips as level as you can. Draw belly button to spine. But also know that it's quite likely the hips will want to tilt a little bit. Don't try and force them into anything they don't want to do. One more here. Lovely stuff. Place that knee back down. Tuck toes under, lift hips high, downward facing dog. Again, three breaths here. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, we soften them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. One more. Lovely stuff. Lower the knees down. This time bringing that left foot forward. We inhale, we rise up. We exhale to cactus. Inhale. Let that breath come out through the mouth if you want to give yourself that real early morning release. Now just be mindful of your low back here. So just notice if it wants to arch. So I like to draw my belly button towards my spine here. So I can't go too far, but I'm getting that lovely stretch down the front of the right leg, that lovely opening into the hips. Big energetic center for us. One more here. Coming up, place those hands down. Bring that leg all the way back up and kick the foot up. Lovely, flex the toes, and then we're gonna circle on this side. Draw your shoulders down and away from your ears. See where that hip is. So it might be that if it really wants to collapse to one side, you just need to make a circle a little bit smaller. Let's get into our hip joints this morning. One more here. Lovely stuff. Let's place that back down, tuck toes. Come up to downward facing dog. We're gonna look forward, soften through the knees. Walk or step the feet towards the front of the mat. Lift up halfway and then inhale, we're gonna do a little Halfway lift, forward fold, flow here. So exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, soften and fold. Halfway lift and fold. Four more. Can you soften? Can you lengthen a bit more each time? Final one. Nice big inhale to roll all the way up to stem. Float the arms up when you get there. Exhale, hands come back down to heart center. Okay, we're at our base camp, which I love. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say today three things that we like about ourselves this morning. So we're gonna keep those positive energy vibes going, okay? And if you struggle with this, think about what a best friend would say about you. What are three great things about you? All right, awesome. We're going to open our eyes. Woohoo! We're feeling good. We're going to take a nice big inhale. As we inhale, we're going to sweep the left leg up. And we're going to hold here with the arms raised. A little single leg balance challenge. Find a point, something that isn't going to move that you can stare at. I'm staring at a white wall, which is super helpful. <laughs> we're going to do a little something here. Let's see if it is a light fitting. So I'm staring at something like that. Right, we're going to exhale. We're going to step that foot back into a high lunge position and trust that the earth will be there. Yes, it was still there when you left it. Brilliant. Now press away into both heels. Ooh, making myself wiggle a bit here. Draw belly button to spine. Bend that back knee and just slightly tuck the tailbone under and then re-straighten that. Changes the dynamic here. So really for me, bring it into my left thigh. Mm. 
Lovely, feeling nice and strong and powerful here. We're going to release down, bringing the hands down onto the earth, onto the fingertips, or all the way down on bricks or blocks if you would like. Make sure you've got a nice long stance here for a low runner's lunge. Really extend the spine nice and long on the mat. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths here. We're doing amazing. Place the hands down. Step that foot back to join the other one. Right high or low plank. I'm going low because my shoulder is not that happy with me at the moment. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down onto the belly. Let's take an inhale. Roll up, cobra. Exhale, release. Twice more. Lovely stuff from here. Let's press back up to our downward facing dog. Let's walk those heels down towards the earth together. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Okay, you have an option here. You can stay in down dog or you can inhale right leg lifts. As you exhale, you bring the knee in the direction of the nose and the body weight comes forward. You inhale, kick it up. Exhale, run forward, knee to nose. Maybe one more if you're in the mood. Lovely. Now this time we're going to bring the knee forward. We're going to look ahead of the hands and step the foot up between the hands. When we look a bit further than we need the foot to go, it, in my experience, can't forget that. We're going to plant that back foot down, set you up. Oh, that was a good crack for our warrior two. Inhale. Left arm sweeps up to raise us up into our warrior two. Nice. Make sure you're comfortable here. Take a little moment to check in with your warrior two. Knee over the front ankle. We Energizing those feet, how are we feeling? Okay, we're going to bring a little bit of pumping energy in, so we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, nice and firm, down into the side, hands as fists. <laughs> Lovely, inhale. <laughs> Two more. Sorry, let's bring the arms back up to shoulder height. Lovely stuff. We're going to straighten the front leg, turn the right toes forward, bring the hands onto the hips, soften the knees, inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, bring the body forward. Maybe only down to halfway with fingertips coming onto a brick or anything else you like. Lovely stuff, you guys. I want you to think about length through the spine here. So I'm also going to just adjust my feet. They're not quite right. Soften through the knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly button to spine as we fall. Maybe you're walking the hands back a little bit. Maybe you're not. Now just be happy with where you are today. Okay? This is your version of a wide legged forward fold. It doesn't look, need to look like anybody else's. It doesn't matter what anyone else's looks like. Focus on you, focus on yours. And be pleased with where you're at today. Pleased with the fact that you just stepped onto your mat and took this time for yourself. That in itself deserves a whoop whoop high five. When you're ready, soften through the knees and slowly roll up to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale them down to heart. When you're ready, you're going to turn to face back towards the front of your mat. Get a nice big step. Come back to the front. Lovely stuff. Right, we're going to roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to lift our hearts up to our hands. We're going to take a moment to think about something that we are excited about today. What are we looking forward to today? Okay, when you're ready, bring the weight to the left leg. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Right arm lifts. Hold this here. So okay to walk and take some time to come back in if you do. Two more breaths. Now we're going to step back into that high lunge, trusting that the earth will be there for us. Ah! I'm making any adjustments you need to, taking the feet wider, etc. etc. Inhale, lift the heart and chest look up. Now we're going to soften into the back knee slightly, tuck that toes in a little, re straighten up that leg. See how that feels. If it doesn't feel better for you, maybe, you know, change it up. I'll do that. Press down into both feet. Lift the gaze. 
Limitation här mot den. One more breath here. Lovely stuff. Then we're going to bring the hands back down onto the earth. Frame that foot high runner's lunge. Roll those shoulders away, maybe you're up on bricks, maybe you're even here. See what feels best for you this morning. Energize both heels, press down into both heels or press away into that back heel. Lovely stuff. Place the hands, foot down, slide that foot back high, or low plank, baby's choice. Lowering all the way down onto the mat. We're going to take the hands down by the side of the body. Inhale, reach your arms up and back. Exhale, release. Inhaling up. Exhale, release. One more. Lovely stuff from here. Pressing back up to your downward facing dog. Okay. Option here. As you inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, round forward, knee to nose. Inhale, leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. One more. Everyone setting up now for your warrior two. Place the back foot down. Inhale, right arm sweeps us up to our lovely standing. Okay, we're going to do our nice powerful warrior two here. Make sure you're comfortable though. The stance feels good first. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale. Nice and strong into the side. Three more. And bring those arms back up and out. Energize those feet. And then straighten that front leg. Now we're going to bring both feet into parallel. Then we're going to bring the heels in, setting up for our goddess. Bring your hands together at your heart. Let the hips gently and lightly sink down. Tuck the tailbone under, so just slightly lengthening the back of the spine. We're going to inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to release. Take a little side stretch. Inhale, back up. Exhale, release. Opposite way. If you need to, as you inhale, straighten the legs. And then as you exhale, come back in. One more to either side. Lovely stuff. Straighten the legs from here. Gently heel toe, those feet back together. And we're going to come to tree pose. So bring your hands together at heart, roll those shoulders up, back and down. Lovely stuff. When you're ready, bring the weight into the right leg, turning the left toes out. Bring the foot to wherever is right for you today. And seeing once you're in your tree pose, just checking in with yourself. I'm just going to give your glutes, your bum muscles, a little squeeze, a little engage here. Draw your belly button towards your spine, roll the shoulders back and down. Bring the hands to wherever you would like them today. Ooh. from side to side and we'll come to the opposite side. Bringing the weight into the left leg, turning the right toes out, lift up to either side, finding your tree pose on your side. Bring that knee forward, bring it down, gently soften from side to side. 
Lovely. Right, we're just going to take a little moment here. Stand towards the backs of your mats. Let the head go. Gently roll all the way down the spine. Really taking your time here to come down onto the earth. Walking the hands forward. Coming to a comfortable seated position. We're going to bring ourselves at the feet together. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale here as you exhale, sending the knees down towards the earth. You can use the forearms to press down if you want, or you can use the muscles. Keep the body nice and tall and long here. Two more breaths. Lovely stuff. Gently release that one down. We're going to extend and face the top of the mat again. We're going to extend the right leg away. We're going to bring the left foot over the top. This time we're going to take a closed twist. So we're going to turn towards the bent leg. And you can either hug the leg like this using the left hand here just to keep you nice and supported and upright or you can inhale the arm up and exhale and take it to the outside edge bring your thumb forward for you to touch here it's really nice flexing the toes on the extended leg so we're going to inhale everything up exhale gently drawing belly button to spine lift and engaging those pelvic floor muscles or mala bandha to come a little bit deeper into this twist Just gently releasing out of that. We're going to switch sides. So this time, left leg extends away, right foot comes up and over. As long as that's comfortable for you, inhale, left leg, left leg, left arm. <laughs> Sweeps back, either hugging or coming to here. I prefer the hug at the moment. So inhale, and exhale to two. Two more breaths here. And then release, coming back to centre. We're going to take a few rock and rolls up and down the spine. If this isn't comfortable for you, just bring yourself down onto your back for me, please. Otherwise, have a little play around, a little rock and roll here. And now we're going to settle back onto the mat. Just gently circle the knees in one direction, probably using the hands or not, yogi's choice. And then gently circle the knees in the opposite direction. Take an inhale as you exhale, let the knees drop over to the right hand side. Arms extend at shoulder height. And maybe you're turning to look the opposite way or getting both shoulder blades back down onto the earth to see what feels good for you. Oops, sorry, head down onto the knees. Really allow the breath to come out almost like a sigh as you exhale to give you that real deep sense of releasing and letting go. your head back to centre, knees come back to centre. Again, gently hugging them in, exhale, let them drop to the left hand side. 
arm stays extended, see if you can get both shoulder blades in contact with the earth. And maybe turning the gaze to look the opposite way, see how it feels in the neck. How do I keep on the spine neutral? Head neutral. Again, allow yourself to almost have a soft sigh or two. And then releasing, head comes back to centre, knees come back to centre, fully extend the legs away, kick the feet out, palms resting down, time for a little knee and shavasana. Just allowing your yoga practice to sink into your body. Allowing yourself to feel all the benefits of that movement. Again, we start with the fingers and the toes. Taking a few deep, full breaths, exhale. Center and stretch. Yawn. Draw the knees in. Roll over onto the side and press yourself up to seated. Now, this is a morning practice. We're going to take a nice big inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, hands come down. Let's do that twice more. Really reaching, breathing in all that positive energy, that gorgeous movement we've brought to our bodies this morning. And feeling like we're going to have a fabulous day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this. See you soon.